Today's grand adventure begins in my big front yard. Featuring There's a rose-breasted grosbeak in the feeder out front that the house wren took all the peanuts out of. This is with the Sony, zoomed in as far as I can from the guest bedroom window. I named this gross beak Irwin. And I'm dying to catch his mate, Tina Turner, on film. Maybe today. I made a bird blind in the guest bedroom this morning. Took the screen off and opened the window a little bit so I could zoom in and see clearly. These two pictures are with the cannon through the glass. 20 minutes later, we heard a big thwack, so we went running. There you go. Hi. That hawk scared you right into the window, didn't it? I'm so sorry. You were a wonderful video earlier today. You're going to be okay. Yes. You're going to be okay. You're a beautiful bird. Oh. Oh, I want you to recover. Use those pretty little wings to fly off. Would you like some water? I can feel it hanging on. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a big boot splat. Does that make you feel better? He's what watching me now. I put you on. Can you perch? See, that's what scared you. At this point, I knew it would recover. It just needed a good perching place. Can you fly? That's a good direction. See, uh, all that food you ate. 20 minutes ago, <laughs> got pooped right out, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> must have been a tufted titmouse. Can you hang on to the feeder? Can you hang on to the feeder? Okay, Mom's getting tired. I'm gonna put you in the feeder. I'm trying. You can stand on the feeder. I know I've got a good grip on me. There we go. All right, we're gonna let it 
do its thing. Hopefully. At this point, it was noon. So this is how we spend our lunch hour. A gross beak rescue. While getting his senses back, Irwin let me do a photo shoot. 150 pictures later, I picked the ones that I liked the best, that were the clearest, that showed Irwin's personality. If only I could catch Tina on film. I'm staying out here so that the other birds won't mess with you. The mockingbird and the titmice. And there was a blue jay. Won't you make it back to the woods there, big guy? While keeping an eye on Irwin in my big back deck jungle, all the usual feeder friends made an appearance. Grace and Frankie, the Mockingbirds, Ralph and Alice, the Cardinals, Margaret and Frank, the Tufted Titmice, and Ross and Rachel, the Chickadees. Gave it some water with a long dropper. You ready to fly? You ready to fly? I think you're good to go. What do you think? Then, at precisely 12.43, it flew. Lo and behold, to my heart's delight, I give you Tina Turner. Irwin had to fight for territory out there in the maple tree. Not sure if it's a rival male, or an offspring. I wonder if they get sluggish after eating so much, and the hawk might know that. Here's a cardinal male swooping in. And old Irwin defends his territory with Tina. There's a black walnut tree in the background that the hawk likes to perch in. But no way, Jose. Not today. Oh, and there's my favorite videographer. <laughs>